Meditations for Every Day in Lent Saturday after the fourth Sunday in Lent The Condemnation to Death The Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 27, verses 24 to 26 And Pilate, seeing that he prevailed nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, taking water, washed his hands before the people, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just man, look you to it. And the whole people answering said, His blood be upon us and our children. Then he released to them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him unto them to be crucified. A Meditation on the Sacred Passion of Jesus Christ by Richard F. Clarke of the Society of Jesus. Firstly, Pilate tries first one plan, then another, to avoid passing a sentence which he knew to be unjust. One plan after another fails, and now he is brought face to face with a choice on which the salvation of his soul may well depend. It was the turning point in his life, the grace of God urging him on one side, and on the other, the fear of man. So, in the life of each, there is some turning point, some occasion, when the choice made will decide his future both in life and in eternity. Unhappy those who in such a moment choose as Pilate chose. Secondly, The motive that led Pilate to condemn Jesus was the fear of man. He did not dare to face the consequences of doing his duty. He trembled before the opinion of others and the dread of losing his worldly position and honour. To how many has the same motive been a cause of eternal loss? Is it not one before which I have sometimes quailed, loving honour from men, and failing in what I knew was the will of God from a desire to please others? Thirdly, Pilate ordered the sentence to be written out, condemning Jesus to death, and then deliberately signed it. But first, he washed his hands before the people, declaring himself guiltless of the blood of the just man that he condemned. O fruitless ceremony, he could not wash from his soul the black stain of cowardice and of treachery to his conscience. It is no use doing ill and saying we did not mean it. Such an evasion, like Pilate's protest, rather adds to than diminishes the sin. A Prayer of St. Gertrude O Jesus, paradise of the delights of God, remember now all the dread and sorrow thou didst endure when Pilate pronounced on thee sentence of death, when the godless soldiers laid the heavy cross on thy shoulders and fastened thee thereon with rude and blunted nails, cruelly stretching thy sacred limbs so that all thy bones could be numbered. I beseech thee, vouchsafe to pronounce a merciful sentence on me in the day of judgment, and deliver me from all punishment. Amen.